Another lady helps a woman stuff her bra. They say that no one is going to notice that it was just stuffed. Another woman, cleaning her makeup brush, says that she looks so beautiful and says that she is going to distract everyone with that look. She thanks her. The makeup artist says that she only needed to pay her for her work. The pretty woman arrogantly tells the older woman to hurry up and fetch her wallet. The older woman arrives with her wallet, and the pretty woman grabs a single banknote and hands it to the makeup artist and tells her to leave. The makeup artist looks at her, not really amused, and tells her that she doesn't want to be rude but says that it wasn't even a quarter of the amount she asked for her work. The arrogant woman says that she's not going to pay her the price she's asking, and says that anyone in that neighborhood could offer a better service. She threatens the makeup artist to leave her alone because she has no idea who she is talking to, the woman who is getting married to a very powerful and rich man. The artist says that if she's getting married to such a powerful and rich man, she can pay her. The arrogant woman says that the makeup makes her look like a clown and bullies the woman, pouring a good amount of cleansing over the artist's face and telling her that she's capable of doing makeup too. She throws her makeup tools at her and leaves. Later, the older woman helps the makeup artist clean her face. The artist says that she doesn't understand why she treated her like that, and she wonders if she behaves this way because she is rich. The old woman says she's a crazy gold digger. She tells the makeup artist that they need to plan vengeance and recover from their loss. The makeup artist smiles. Later, the old woman finds the gold digger talking to someone on her phone. She calls the arrogant woman, saying that it was important, but the gold digger ignores her and tells her to leave her alone and get out of the house. Then, a man knocks on the door, and the arrogant lady shouts, swears, and tells him to get lost. The man shouts, saying that he's her broom, and asks to go inside, but she refuses to let him in because it brings bad luck. He says it's only a stupid superstition and insists on entering. She says that getting ready for a marriage always takes a long time. He argues and says that it was a very important event. He asks her to hurry up. She answers back, saying that she'll be there in a minute. He says that she can't ruin the moment because his whole family is going to be there. He gets angry and slams the door. He says if she ruins the wedding, she's going to pay for it, and he tells her to be quick. She says she's going in a minute. He slams the door in anger and tells her that they'll be waiting for her. Later, the woman complains that she's really hungry because she hasn't eaten anything yet. She wonders if she should eat something before going but is concerned about getting her wedding dress dirty or looking fat. She then, realizing that she's just too hungry to hold on, decides to have a quick lunch before going. She leaves the room and sees the two women standing up. She belittles the older woman, telling her to carry on with their chores. She orders them to clean and take care of the house because it stinks, then leaves the room. The young woman says she can't stand that woman. The old woman agrees with her, and they decide to carry on with their plan. Meanwhile, the arrogant woman checks the fridge for food but doesn't find anything suitable to eat. She spots a chocolate bun and grabs it to eat. Later, she desperately tries to clean the chocolate stain off her dress and accidentally bumps into the young woman. She shouts at her, asking why she's still there, and says that she's going to pay her anything else. She says she's just there to offer a free makeup retouch. The arrogant woman insults the makeup artists but accepts the free retouch, she requests a flamboyant makeup. She tells the makeup artist to be quick because they are all waiting for her. She follows the makeup artist to a room and the old woman signals to the artist. Later, the arrogant woman tells the artist to hurry up because everyone is waiting for her. 
The artist says it's nearly done. She gives the makeup a final purple touch and tells her that it's finished and that she looks great. The bride asks to check herself in the mirror, but the artists convince her that it is supposed to be a surprise because she's going to be surprised with everyone's reaction. Because she looked stunning, the woman trusts the makeup artist and orders the older woman outside to fetch her something to clean the chocolate stains off her dress. Later, the woman walks to the wedding, but someone suddenly throws a bucket of colored water at her. She cries for help, and the old woman approaches and gives her a mirror. She realizes that she's looking terrible and begs the makeup artist to help her. The makeup artist says that she needed to go because she ordered her to. The arrogant woman begs her to stay and help because she is desperate. The makeup artist refuses to assist an arrogant and ungrateful woman who does not value her work. The arrogant woman says that she's going to pay a good amount of money if she helps. The artist says that she would only help her if she paid in advance and also paid the older woman the same amount. She orders the old woman to fetch her wallet, but she refuses and tells her to fetch it herself. The makeup artist celebrates with the older woman, Rose. The haughty woman appears, wrapped in a towel, and hands the money to the artist. She says that's everything she's got and asks them to be quick because everyone is waiting. The artist is about to reveal that she can't help herself when the husband appears and asks the bride what is going on and that they are all waiting for her. She says that it was just an accident and tells him not to worry because the two women are going to help her. The two women say that they needed to go and flee the scene with the money. The arrogant woman shouts that it was their fault. The broom ignores her complaints and gets angry. He says that she's ruined his life. He says that he has ruined a very important moment in his life. He says that she shamed him in front of his whole family and tells her that he depended on that to get his inheritance. He asks what he's supposed to say to his mother. The woman says that it can be fixed. He ignores her and says that he should have stayed with the other woman. He says that he loved her but had to leave her because she insisted on marrying him. He orders her to give the ring back, but she refuses, crying and saying that she can fix the situation. He ignores her and forces her to give back the ring. He tells her to pack her stuff out of that house and never come back.